All right, today I'm going to talk about the sus chord. This comes up a lot when I'm working with students. What is a sus chord? How do I improvise over a sus chord? So, sus chord's a dominant chord, and we'll first we'll talk about the structure. The four note structure is one, four, five, flat seven. In jazz, this is you know, the sus four chord, or G7 sus four. In rock, sometimes it's just one, four, five. discussion we'll be talking about the sus with a seven. Um, I've also put in this PDF, as you can see, uh, different ways of thinking of the chord sus add nine or G9 sus. You can add the 13. Nice sound. And then you can also add the third sus add three. So when you have this structure one, four, five, flat seven, the third becomes a color tone now instead of the third of the chord. You know, the, the four is taken over the place of the third in the lower part of the structure. So now the th actual third in the chord scale becomes the upper structure um, in this sus formation. And so it sounds pretty, it sounds like a color tone instead of a structural tone. So it's a nice sus add three. Sometimes when I'm composing, if I have the third in the melody on a dominant chord, I will turn it into a sus chord to make it more colorful. Okay, so basically, when you have a sus chord, you just play your mixolydian scale. So this is in the key G7 in the key of C, the fifth mode is the C major scale. It's just all those uh, notes in the key of C. So the mixolydian scale is the perfect scale for a sus chord. extent there's really no avoid notes. Every note sounds good. So another way to think of the sus chord is just as G7, a regular dominant chord like G7 on the blues or um, yeah, any kind of G7. So you can add, you could use a sharp 11 on it, just like you might on a G7. Or you could think of it as a bebop, you know, use like a bebop scale on it. You could use some chromatic enclosures on it, like you would on a dominant chord. Um, so just thinking of it as a regular dominant chord. But if we're going to stick strictly to the mixolydian scale, then what I like to do oftentimes is think of some little note sets instead of just thinking of the scale in its entirety, just think of some little four note sets. These four note sets, or tetrads, sometimes they're called quadrads. It's just a group of four notes, and I usually pick uh, non-seventh chords for this. So for instance, the first one I have on this sheet uh, is this G add 11. So taking the G triad, add the 11, So this is a, one of the seventh chords I do enjoy using on this. So B half diminished, it's almost like using a G 
uh, dominant pentatonic if you just added the note G to that. That dominant pentatonic also works over this. Just the, basically the G7 chord with an added 9. And then C at 11. Uh, D at a D minor at 9. major 7 shell, so 1, 3, 7 of F major, and add the sharp 11 to that. So those are all really nice four note sets you can use when improvising over a sus chord, or you can just keep it simple and just use the Mixolydian scale, or maybe just picking one of those four note sets that you really like. The G, that G add 11 sounds great. sus chord and bring in that color note, the, the B natural, back into the sound. It's really nice. So that's basically how I think of sus chords. I hope that's helpful. And if you go to my blog, mattauto.org, uh, th there'll be a PDF there and also a play along that just vamps on this G sus so you can, you can try some of these concepts yourself. All right. Bye-bye.